We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. This is the moment that is fueling a fierce debate among NBC 10 viewers when George Zimmerman was found not guilty of killing Trayvon Martin. Viewers immediately began questioning that verdict on our Facebook and Twitter accounts. Now we are taking your questions to someone who can answer them. Joining me is defense attorney Enrique Latoyson in our Digital Operations Center. He's been with us throughout this entire Zimmerman trial. So we do want to go to some of these viewer questions. Becky asks, how can it be self-defense when Zimmerman followed this child and instigated the altercation, end quote? Well, this is what the being discussed across America right now. This is the debate. We all agree that Zimmerman was the one who instigated the chain of events that led to the altercation. He profiled um, Trayvon. He stalked him. Trayvon was doing nothing wrong. But the question is, who started and instigated the physical altercation? And this is a debate that's going on around America right now. And depending on who you believe started that, that actual altercation, you do not give up your right to self-defense, even though you're the one who started the chain of events that led to that physical altercation. We've heard a lot of people doing role reversal and analysts doing the same. Our next question, Kathy writes, what if the outcome were different and George Zimmerman were killed in the fight instead of Trayvon Martin? Would Trayvon have been found not guilty? What do you say to Kathy? I believe that Trayvon would have been acquitted in this case. And it actually would have been an easier case for Trayvon, given the fact that Zimmerman was the one who had the gun, who followed Trayvon, who stalked him, who profiled him. And then it still would come down to who's the one that instigated the actual physical confrontation. The prosecution, either way, would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt who was the person who was the aggressor in the matter and whether or not that person still had a right for a self-defense. And we've heard so much about what Trayvon had on him, lemonade and Skittles. Joyce writes, but Zimmerman killed an unarmed kid. Doesn't that call for some punishment? What do you say to Joyce? This is why this case has struck a nerve with, with America, is because everyone agrees that Zimmerman should not have followed him. And this kid was minding his business walking down the street, and he should not have been put in this situation. But uh, even every state in this country allows for classic self-defense rights. And even though you may be the one who started the chain of events that led to the physical altercation, you do not give up your right to self-defense. And he's, and it feels bad that he's going to get away with it. There's going to be a civil case and there might be a possible federal case, but you don't give up your right to self-defense, even though you're the one who actually might have been the one that started the chain of events that led to the actual situation. And the discussion continues. Defense Attorney Enrique Latoyson, thank you so much for your expertise.